Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be doing the Not My Hands makeup challenge with my husband. So you'll see in the video, he'll be behind me and he's gonna put his hands up through my arms while they are behind my back. And I'm going to instruct him on basically as if they were on my own hands doing my makeup. So I thought it'd be super fun to kind of do this. I do like to do some makeup challenges. I have a few that I've done already. Um, I've actually done some with him. So it just, it's a lot of fun. So if you are not already subscribed, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the video and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so before we get in the video, I just want to show you that uh, these are my husband's hands, so say say hello to my husband's hands. <laughs> Alright, so I do have his face actually behind my back. I know that some people that have done it have allowed the um, spouse or significant other to see the colors and all that, but we are not going to do that. We're going to make it a little bit more fun. He can't see, and I'm just going to kind of like direct him. I guess it's like a trust challenge, or what is that? Um, where like you you followed us someone's directions blindly. I don't know, but it's gonna be super fun. But before we get started, I do want to remind you guys um that I am having a thousand subscriber giveaway, but it does end on the 31st of August. So just make sure you go ahead and check out the video. I'm gonna link right above here in the corner, my left corner. So you can go ahead and see the details on how to get entered for that. So let's get this fun time started. All right, so I'm gonna do my makeup as if I'm going to direct Steven on how to do my makeup as if I were doing it. So I have some brushes. I have made it a little bit easy. I've only gotten one of each product, so he's not kind of like going through a million things. So that's fun, but okay. So first we go into the eyebrows. So that's what I do first. So brushes are on the left. You have to find this. It's the second brush in. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the eyebrow stuff is actually like right down in front of me but I need you to grab the left one so yes okay so you have to show the camera <laughs> you stabbed me in the mouth already no turn it around okay but lift it up <laughs> and so today I'm going to be going in with my ultimate favorite which is the ABH dark brown pomade or dip brow is what they call it but it's a pomade so I'm going to be taking my ABH brush, which is my favorite eyebrow brush. Uh, that's the spoolie end. There you go. And I'm going to just draw on my brows. So this is a little bit hard. Do not dig in there. This is a little bit hard because I fully draw on my brows. So it's not just like a fill my eyebrow kind of situation. He's going to have to actually draw them. So here we go. Okay, first of all, hold it like a pencil. Okay. <laughs> Not my brow. There we go. Okay. And so I'm just going to start from the center and work my way <laughs> to make the point. <laughs> you want to make sure that you outline. If you're filling in your brows completely, that you outline them and then shade them in. All right. Now we're going to move on to the next brow. So we'll have to dip some more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and. We're, we're gonna dip some more because we didn't, we didn't dip a lot. <laughs> we have to dip a little bit more. <laughs> Considering I'm right handed, I should probably do it with my right hand and feel with my left. But you know, it's fine. <laughs> Usually I like to show you guys my face while I'm doing these things, but this time I think I'm gonna just kind of. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so now we're gonna close that up. Okay, and we're gonna push them down. That's a good one. We're gonna, that's not it. Yes, okay. So we're gonna close that up, and now we have to set the brows, because I usually, I fill them in, I draw them, and then I fill them in with the um, dip brow, and then I go in with the powder, which is right in front of me, to the right. It's kind of literally right in front of me. And this is the dip brow. Oh no, this is the duo. <laughs> Stop moving. This is the brow powder duo in chocolate. So what I like to do is I like to take the light color and I go ahead and open it. It's a, a snap one. So, you have to, so I like to use the left side for the beginning. Oh, there's one. 
uh-huh I like to use the left side of this circle to put on the front of my brows because it's a lighter color and then no nope, that's a spoolie <laughs> we're not gonna do that <laughs> um and then we're gonna put that on the front of my brows because it's a lighter color and then we're gonna go in the darker color <sighs> that's enough <laughs> Um, no, <laughs> we're gonna go in the darker color when we're done the lighter color. That's enough. <laughs> I'm going, um, extremely, okay, just the front of the brows is what we're doing. Just, just the front. Just to set it, what we've already filled in. All right. Just the front. <laughs> I just, you know what, today we're going all the way in. <laughs> and we're gonna get the brow gel, cause I like to set it so my brows last forever. <laughs> and we're gonna lean, it's gonna be right in front of me. And it's a tube, no that's lipstick. That's concealer, and right there. So we are using the ABH Clear Brow Gel. <laughs> I'm trying to show you, but we're completely off camera, it's fine. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and go over my brow, over my brow, up, 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 up. <laughs> to set, there we go, to set what we've done. So I'm gonna take my foundation, which is right in front of me, a little bit, oh, more in front of me. No, that's lipstick. Okay, let's be careful though, cause that's my Giorgio Armani foundation. All right, and I am in the shade, um, in the shade eight, which is, this is the Luminous Silk Foundation. I really, really like this foundation. I'm gonna give it a shake. There you go. Really careful though, because this is a glass bottle and I don't wanna drop it. All right, so now I'm going to open it. It's a pump foundation. So I am today, I'm not gonna use a beauty blender today. Today I'm going to use a foundation brush, which is one of my favorite, is the Morphe Y6, which is right there in the middle. There you go, look at that, I'm so good. And I'm just gonna put a few pumps on this brush, like two. It's like two is all I really need at the moment, and then I can go in. So we're gonna pump it. We're gonna pump it right there, one. Okay, that's good. All right, first let me move my hair out of my way. So I don't get it on my hair or my shirt. <laughs> okay, so okay, before the foundation drips off the brush, we're gonna just dot it. <laughs> No, we're gonna dot it first. We're gonna dot it before we blend it in. Just dot it all over. We're gonna work with one side of the face. We're gonna dot all over one side. And we're just gonna go right over those eyebrows because you know what? Screw it. We don't, we don't need it. <laughs> we're gonna go down the neck. I'm ticklish. I'm sorry, guys. All right, and now we're just gonna go ahead and buff that in. So I really, I really like this foundation because it is really really nice for dry skin um it's a little bit on the more light coverage we're gonna go near the mouth a little and kind of blend down there however it is very buildable so I like to do that but I'm really a fan of it because it's so lightweight but it also makes me look dewy we're gonna need some more if we're gonna do the other side of my face so to the right is where you put it yes so and the reason I like it is because it does give me, like, a, you're right on the brush, a nice dewy effect. The only problem is this foundation is, like, $64. So it's it's a little bit pricey. Um, I haven't found, like, a dewy foundation that is drugstore. So if you guys have one that is a little bit cheaper, then I would love, love, love for you to comment below and let me know. Because I find that it's very hard too fine um, luminous foundations or hydrating foundations for dry skin. I have to get some on my chin here. And um, so I do wanna try the, re, um, the Fenty Beauty hydrating one. I've been waiting for her brand to drop a hydrating foundation because that foundation that she did, the pro, the matte, it's just way too dry for my skin. Um, I have way, 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 way dry skin. So um, even in the summertime, like there's no oil in the skin. So okay, we're done with that. And I forgot to put primer on. So we're gonna go on our concealer because I've already ooped and the concealer is right in front of us behind the lipstick. So that's the primer in my left hand, the lipstick in my right. All right, so I am also going to be going in with the Giorgio Armani concealer and this is in the shade five. This is the Power Fabric Concealer. I like to use this concealer because it's very lightweight. So when I do a lightweight foundation, I really, really insist on doing a lightweight concealer because you don't wanna have full coverage under your eyes, and then, oh yeah, 
Yes, okay, well, we did. We went there. Um, you don't wanna have full coverage on your eyes and then, the nope, up a little. And then the rest up a little bit. The rest of it is light coverage, do you know what I mean? So we're gonna just put some in the middle of my forehead and my nose is what I'm assuming I'm trying to do. All right, so just a little concealer, nothing crazy. There you go. So we're gonna use the Beauty Blender and just go ahead and blend all of that out. <laughs> and just make sure we take it to the outsides of our face as well. And just blend it all. You don't want it too much on the side of my nose because that's where we're gonna put the contour. And we're just gonna <laughs> blend this concealer out right now. Okay, so now that I am done with my concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that Beauty Blender unnecessarily and then I'm going to grab my setting powder which is the furthest on the right side of the table up up yes <laughs> and it is the Kylie translucent um I think this is just called loose powder I'm pretty sure but it's setting powder by Kylie Cosmetics we're not gonna open it that way or it will all spill out <laughs> there we go <laughs> because it's powder <laughs> and it's messy. All right, so then we're gonna hold it with that hand and get the brush, the third brush in, okay? And I am using, as always, to set my under eye, my Morphe 510. So I'm just gonna dab it in there very carefully, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it right where I put my concealer. So um, if you're not new to my channel, I do not bake, I just set and then I move on. So the reason that I'm very particular with the powder is because um, it, if you have really dry skin, putting too much powder on is going to bring that texture forward, even if it is a more hydrating, luminous foundation. So just keep that in mind um, because I know I do see a lot of uh, beauty bloggers or whatever, they'll say that they have really dry skin and they put this nice hydrating foundation on and then they kind of ruin it by putting on so much powder. I'm not saying you can't use setting powder and if you like to bake then just bake. I mean I'm not saying that you can't but what I'm saying is a suggestion if you have super dry skin like I do, do not bake and do not cake your face with powder because what it's going to do is it essentially will stick to your texture, stick to your dry patches and it's just not a good look. So we are going to move on now that I am powdered. Alright, so now I'm going to go with my bronzer palette to the right. Yep. Nope. Oh, yep. Okay. You got it. This is the Kiko. Um, this is the Smart Essential Face Palette. We're going to go ahead and open her up. She's like an eyeshadow palette, if that makes sense to open. Also, I got the Jeffree Star um, palette, and I'm going to be reviewing that and putting that on my channel um, probably Monday. So we're going to lift it up. And show you I have some bronzers in here and some blushes we're gonna go on with the bronzers first it is a six pan um, palette so the first one on the top so it's gonna be nope one more brush in for my bronzer and we're using the morphe 530 I believe 530 yes it's my one of my favorite we're gonna go with the first bronzer on the top yes it is number one, I believe. And we're going to go ahead and just place that bronzer on the outside of my... That's enough bronzer. <laughs> on the outside of my face. Mm -hmm. Like a three. If we do it like in a three motion from the forehead. From the forehead to, into the cheek. We're going to go down into the cheek. Okay. And then we're going to go back and go down to the chin. So it's basically a three motion. Um... I know a lot of people put their bronzer on that way. I don't put too much bronzer on my chin just because, again, I do not like to accentuate any chubbiness of my face. All right, so we're going to keep the same palette, though, because it does have three blushes at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and put the bronzer br brush down and pick up the blush brush, which is the last brush all the way to the right. And we're going to go in the first blush, which is that right under the bronzer. Yes, which is a very peachy orange. And just really cake that on my cheeks. <laughs> or my chin. That's fine too. Like, It's not a big deal where you put it really. Just, just throw the blush on there. We're going to do the other side. <laughs> and we're just... Same thing. You know what? This one we're going to go a little higher with though. Because you know what? It's just... It is what it is. Alright. That's perfect. So we're going to close that up because we're done. All right, now we're gonna go into highlighter, which is all the way on the right side. It's a little square, 
further on the right side up perfect and the first brush on the left so I'm going in with Urban Decay Sin. It is one of my original favorite highlighters. I'm going to be doing a current favorite highlighter um, video from I'm going to do like top 10 in my collection. So it doesn't mean that they're the best or my favorite created. They're just the favorite that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But this is definitely one of them. This is Sin. And I'm going to go ahead and take my ABH highlighting brush. And I'm just going to dab it in there. Really dab it in there. This one is such a pretty. Wait till you see this. This highlighter is so pretty. And I'm going to put it on the tops of my cheek. There we go. Oh, look at look at that. Just glazed. Like seriously though, this, this um highlighter is amazing. I don't know if they make it anymore because it's pretty old. I'm gonna just flick it. Oh, we're gonna do it a little bit lower on this side. We're really getting that highlighter in there. We're gonna put a little bit on my nose because I do love to highlight my nose and a little on my chin and, and that'll be good. All right, so now that I am super glowy, I do really, really love this one. So if you still have it available, check it out. Um, it's the Urban Decay After Afterglow Highlighter, um, but really it's called Sin and it's so pretty. I also have the um, liquid form, so I like to dab that when I am not wearing any foundation and just make me look listening. Okay, so now we're going to go into the eyes. I'm going to be using my eyeshadow palette. This is the, let me turn around, Urban Decay Beach Eyeshadow Palette. I've used this like maybe twice and I've had it for a very long time. Lift it up. It's very pretty. I love the browns. I love the blues. I just... I have a lot of palettes so what I'm trying to do is with videos that I do makeup looks or fun challenges kind of like mix it up if you've noticed um, a lot of the stuff I'm trying to use I don't use currently or I don't use often on my channel just so I can kind of like go through and no makeup's wasted so we want to love them all alright so in this palette it is a up and down palette so we're gonna go four down one two three four so this is in daybreak what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my crease brush my blending brush and lightly dig in there just just lightly and then I'm going to cover my whole lid with that from the crease up and just blend it out very nicely we're going to do a nice glam bronze look so now we're going to go and we're going to get the packing brush which is my MAC 227 um, one two all right and it's just a flat brush for us to pack on the color I'm going to go in with heat wave which is the third one down so one two three heat wave it's more of like a please be careful it's more of like a metallic -y color and we're just going to play, place that on the actual lid so where our eye rounds and we're just going to put that on for some shimmer okay and i love these colors like this palette is so pretty so the mascara is directly in front of us again a little bit further Nope, that's a brush. A little bit further. Per no perfect. So today I'm using the Man Eater by Tarte. And I'm gonna go ahead and I go ahead and open this. But I'm going to hope that I can do this without getting Oh there we go. Okay. Alright, okay. And we're just gonna put it on our top lashes very carefully. All right, so beautiful. We're gonna move on to the next lash, and we're just are we are we skipping the bottom lashes here? Yeah, we're gonna go back and we're gonna do bottom lashes. Okay, yes. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, and now moving on. We're gonna we're gonna dip again, and we're actually doing a fantastic job with this mascara. Although I am frightened for my life. So now we are going to go into lips. I am going to be using a beautiful red color by Fenty. It's to the left. It's that funky feeling bottle to the left. There we go. And this is one of the, I'm gonna turn it over so I can see it. Um, this is uncensored and this is a Stunna lip paint. So this is actually one of my favorite red, my nose itches, uh, other side. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. So this is actually one of my favorite red lipsticks. Uh, my daughter, she thought it was nail polish when I first got it and decided to paint her nails with it because it is a really cute um, packaging. So it does kind of resemble a nail polish, but it is not. It's actually a fantastic freaking red though. All right, go ahead. I'm just going to 
Yeah, line it up. Okay. Ooh. And we're not going to get it on my teeth. Oh, uh, well, you, you went from really good to I now look like I got lip injections. You're welcome. Off camera. <laughs> okay, so now that we have the lipstick on, the last thing to do is going to be setting spray. We're going to lock this baby in, and it's going to be all the way up front to the right. Perfect. We're going to give her a shake. And then we are going to spray my face. Nope. <laughs> that was the cat. <coughs> it's in my eyes. <coughs> my mouth. <laughs> that was the Kat Von D <coughs> Lock It setting spray. I haven't used it in a while. However, it is serious stuff. Um, I like that it missed the way it does. It does have kind of a strong scent, but it is it's really cute. Um, the bottle and it is really really good. So I'm a big fan. I got it a while ago, and I just I have so many that I haven't used it. So I was like, I'm gonna bring some makeup out that I don't really use. All right. So this is it, guys. I am going. <laughs> to go ahead and bring Steven around camera to check out my face and um, we're gonna wrap it up so we'll be right back alrighty guys so this is it <laughs> God. I no, it doesn't look that bad I think that the worst part I'm gonna go ahead and come in um, is the eyebrows it kind of looks like that crazy hairy trend that was going on last year um the lips don't look bad from far away but if you look here it's like really bad, but it looks like I have the biggest lips. Like I literally look like I got lip injections. I did my best. <laughs> so I really think that the highlighter brings out though. Like it kind of, if you're from far away, it doesn't look so bad. Yeah, you're so welcome. <laughs> so go ahead and comment below and let me know how you think Steven did. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up for him. He tried his best. We are sweaty and yeah, hot. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I really appreciate that he came on here and had a lot of fun with me. If you guys like these kind of videos, all these makeup challenges and whatnot, go ahead and comment below and let us know. We'll get some more out for you. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.